In this video we're going to look at mole calculations. So what is a mole? A mole is a chemical unit for the amount of a certain substance, any substance that is, and essentially it's just a number. It's what we call Avogadro's number. So one mole of any substance is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. So that's a 602 with 21 zeros after it, number of particles. So it's just an incredibly large number. The reason we have this incredibly large number is that it's really, really hard to deal with the huge numbers that are involved in chemical reactions of particles. So if I had one grain of sand, I would have billions and billions of silicon and oxygen atoms in that silica or that sand. So what we do is we just create a new unit called a mole. And just a mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles, which is an incredibly large number. It's like saying a dozen, one dozen is equal to 12 things. A baker's dozen is equal to 13 things. So one mole of water particles equals 6.02 by 10 to the 23 water molecules. The key thing in chemistry is that when we're dealing with substances, we don't often just calculate the number of particles we have because the number of particles we have is just huge and it's just a scale that's a little bit difficult for us to work with. Um, so what we do is we create a new scale, we call that the mole. Um, there's ways of working out how we calculate a mole of substances. For example, relative atomic mass, which is a definition I looked at in the isotopes video, deals with the average mass of an atom. And it just takes into account all of its isotopes. And I'll look at that now. So the definition for relative atomic mass is that it's the average mass of the isotopes of an element taking their abundances into account relative to 1 12th the mass of carbon-12 atom. The atomic mass or AM of hydrogen atom is 1.008. That's because there's a tiny number of hydrogen atoms that have an extra neutron, so they're slightly heavier. Um, the relative atomic mass of lithium is 6.941 relative at atomic mass of boron is 10.81. The relative atomic mass links directly to the amount of a substance. To understand how to use moles in real life calculations, we need to come up with another, another definition because while relative atomic mass is really useful, we're not always dealing with just atoms on their own. We're dealing with compounds and molecules. So a more important definition is that of relative molecular mass. It's basically when you take a compound or a molecule and you add all of the relative atomic masses for each element together, that gives you the total relative molecular mass. Relative molecular mass, or also known as MR, is the sum of the relative atomic mass of each element in a compound. Technically, as all elements aren't molecules, we can say that this is also known as the relative formula mass, but we don't need to worry about that. The reason this is important because we can always calculate the number of moles of substance we have based on the relative molecular mass and the actual mass in grams of the substance we have because one mole of any substance will always weigh the same as its MR, a relative molecular mass, in grams. So that means one mole of H2O equals well, the MR of H2O, the relative molecular mass, is two hydrogens plus oxygen is 18 grams. One mole of calcium carbonate equals 40 plus 48 plus 12 is 100 grams. So we can now create a formula for working out the moles of a substance. So the moles of any, number of moles of any substance, which are shorthand write MOL, the mole equals the mass in grams divided by the MR, which is grams per mole, let's just say. So the 
to work out the number of moles of any substance, we simply take the mass that you have of that substance in grams and divide it by that compound's relative molecular mass. So we can look at this another way. If I had 50 grams of calcium carbonate, how many moles would I have? Well, mole equals mass over MR. Therefore, I have 50 divided by, well, the MR is 100, equals 0 0.5 mole of calcium carbonate. If I really wanted to, then I, I could then see, well, how many particles of car calcium carbonate do I have? Well, I've got 0 0.5 by 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles, which is 3.01 by 10 to the 23 particles of calcium carbonate. But I'm also, I'm not really worried about it that often. We usually just deal with working out the number of moles of a substance.